Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Millermatic 211 Pro. So this is the new and improved Millermatic 211. Uh, this is the Pro Series. So this is the brand new one that's coming up. And it, it's pretty nice. It, it's very, uh, it's lighter than the old one, um, more economical than the old one. A couple of, the, in this video, we're going to go over the features. We're going to weld with it. Uh, we're going to show the new screen, the new technology on the thing. But let's just jump right in. One of the first things I noticed coming pulling out of the box, lighter, definitely lighter. Um, but it comes with a 15-foot MDX100 MIG gun. So the old one came with a 10-foot gun. So that, that's pretty cool. Added five feet to that. Comes with a 15-foot ground cable too, which is awesome. So I can get it out there a little bit further from my workbench. Um, 110, 220, same as the old one. Uh, so on the inside of the machine here, I'll show you. We got an 11-pound spool hooked up. But just on the inside, we got our quick chart data so we can, if you don't know if you're brand new to welding and you want a quick guide you just tell it what gas tells you what flow and then you pick your uh, what size material and then you can obviously it'll give you some parameters to run off that this thing is spool gun capable so you can put the spool gun on there weld aluminum with it this thing on 220 will weld up to 3 8 material so uh, 3 8 6 steel and I got 035 wire in this thing but same old aluminum cast drive roll, power block pretty very nice um, one system drive roll, so you just push in and you can change that. If I got the wire in there, it might be a little bit hard, but see how you can just chain, push it in and then it clicks in and out and it changes your wire dimer. So 023, 030, 035, and then 045 flux core. So you can run inner shield on this. Um, I just got my tension set to three there. Another unique thing to this, the old one had a Velcro to hold the plug. Now we got a little stand up top there that holds the 110 plug and then holds the 220 plug. I got the 220 plugged in right now. Got a little cap to keep the dust out of there. Pretty awesome. That's that's a new feature. Very nice. Got my MIG gun plugged in. Shut the door here. I'll show you guys on the front of the machine. So on the front here, we got auto set and menu. So auto set, if you guys aren't familiar with it, you tell it what gas what wire size, what material thickness, and it spits out parameters. So it gives you voltage and wire feed speed. But if we turn that off, it goes in the manual mode. So then we can adjust it. But if you're in auto set too, you can still adjust. It just, see how it gets in and out of the green area, and then it comes back down, and that's the prime setting, the target setting for that. So this is all new, that screen updated. Very, very cool. Now if we go in the menu, we can adjust, and we'll shut auto set off just to menu here. We can adjust pre-flow, post-flow, run-in, fast tech. Another thing I noticed too, both knobs work. So you can scroll through the screen on both knobs and these are buttons. So if I want to change that, I just turn it and then I can turn my pre-flow up. My post-flow I can turn up too. Pretty cool. Run-in is set to auto. Uh, very, very nice. But let's go back here and I'll show you. You can process select. So you can change MIG or flux core, and then you can change your gas. So we got a 7525, so we're going to have C25. You can run 100% CO2, a 90-10, a stainless mix, and then aluminum, obviously, will be argon. So the stainless mix is going to be a, either a blend, a tri-mix, or a bi-mix bi of gas. But we'll go back out of there, go into auto set, and there, there it is for mine. I punched it in, so I'm, I'm running 035 wire. And you can adjust that real easy. And then metal thickness all the way, 22 gauge all the way down to 3 8 I got 8 inch material. I click on that and then boom, it spits out my program. Pretty, pretty nice. So I got my power block right here too. So got DINs connections. It gives you an alert when that's not hooked up. Easy to turn in, turn off. There's our ground clamp. Super easy to get in there and out. Very easy setup right out of the box. I mean, super simple. Got my gas hooked up, comes with a regulator, uh, ground, two contact tips. It does not come with a spool of wire, but we got a spool of wire we put in there. Uh, but let's let's give this thing a shot and try and weld with it and see how it runs. All right, got my gear on here. We're going to give this thing a try and weld. Uh, before I do, though, I was going to say, they have this new feature called Smooth Start. So they claim it's the smoothest starting machine in its class on the plane. So we're going to give this a shot, see if I see a difference with that. Also on the duty cycle, so I got it as a 220, 20 volt. Um, it has a 100% duty cycle at 20 volts. So we're at 
19 volts right now, so we should be good to go. It's got a very, very nice duty cycle. Even on 110, it's got a really nice duty cycle. Um, so, I mean, even if you're limited to 110, it, it really does have a good pull. Now, they recommend a 20 amp breaker with it on 110, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Let's give this thing a shot here. I'm going to do a little T joint. We're going to try this smooth start. Starting out really, really, really nice. I don't know if you saw right at the start there, it, it, it really did, didn't stumble, didn't bumble, nothing. And I don't know if you noticed too on the very end of that wire, it, so it, there's no big bo bo blob at the end of the thing, and maybe that has something to do with the smooth start, but that's very nice. So when I go to restart, I'm not going to have big resistance at the end of that. Um, pretty awesome though, welded really nice. The settings seem to be good, seem to be digging in there really nice. Um, I like that machine, it's really smooth. Uh, like I said, we're on 220 though. And we're running just auto set features, just doing what it told us to do, and it turned out pretty good. Low spatter. Um, all in all, very nice machine. If you guys got any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned for some more.